Uh, one Facebook user asks, if no motion reopen after 90 days from Ms. Chef Chavez, then possibility of IAC claim, any updates on the claim processing rule? This is all Chinese to me because I'm not doing it. <laughs> I see. Is that right, no, I, I, I can hit that up. Um, I don't look. I, <laughs> we throw around ineffective assistance of counsel so much because it's what's required to save our clients sometimes. And it's really unfortunate. Yeah. There's always sua sponte reopening and there is no deadline to do that. But if you are going to make it a regulatorily based motion to reopen and you're going to argue for equitable tolling, that equitable tolling did start on April 29th. Is it ineffective if you don't do it? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Right. I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's not something I'd like to argue. Um, if the case is there with your client, um, I, I think we all need to be looking at our cases right now. That's, that's really at the, the end of the day. But again, if you don't file it, the equi I'm not saying that you only have 90 days to file this equitable tolling motion to reopen. Whether or not equitable tolling applies is based on whether or not the motion is filed within a reasonable amount of time of the new law. That doesn't necessarily equate to 90 days, but the regulation requires 90 days on a regular motion. So it's pretty good if you file it within 90 days of the change in law. As to claims processing rule, as that user, as a user, as that Facebook poster posted, and we can't see the identity here. Um, I'll wait till IRP. Is this Una Scott? Um, I, as yeah, I IRP is. Uh, issue, immigration review podcast. Oh, okay. As, <laughs> as, as the claims processing rule, I don't see it affecting it. Look, other, I, I think that all that case law about whether or not then a non-compliant NTA is violation is a claims processing rule violation rather than jurisdictional. I don't see this case. Gorsuch knew that that case law is out there. They didn't cite to any of it. And they were very, very clear in the language they used. Justice Kavanaugh kind of implied that it might be a problem in dissent, but I think he was doing that to just kind of, you know, be a dissenting justice. I don't know. I'd, I hope I'm wrong and maybe I'll file some motions in the appropriate case, but I don't know. I think that removal proceedings, I think we're in the same place we've been after Pereira.